Welcome to the Jerry Graves channel, the only channel that talks about mastering your flow, how to deal with narcissists, psychopaths, bullies, ostracism, and all the, the nasty things in life, all in one channel. And without further ado, we're just going to jump right into the topic. Now, this is going to be about how people spread rumors, gossip, and basically pigeonhole you. One thing that's like really dangerous about this, it's not just the direct person who's trying to pigeonhole you. It's it's the random people, you know, like I, I've had this, like I've I've experienced situations where it'd be people that you don't you never even talk to, that you never even uh even worried about as far as what they think or who they who they are. You you don't think that they have a problem with you, you don't you never had a conflict with them, but they'll still if your name is brought up and they've heard other people talk trash about you, I guess they go in and say some of the, the most vile things, you know, like it's not a big deal, you know, we're, I'm just going to say this. And partly it's about entertainment. It's a, it's a, it's an activity, you know, it's, it's to stimulate the person that they're talking to in some way, you know, and uh, it's not about whether it's true or not. It's not about, sometimes it's not nothing personal, but they just need something to say to, to have something to say and, be a part of that group, you know, have something interesting to say. And uh, it's it's very damaging that, that there's so, I call them randoms, you know, just random people. Now, I don't always have people talking. I mean, all right, so yeah, I think that I always have people talking trash about me to some degree, but um, sometimes it's way worse than others, you know, like everybody has people that say negative things about them, you know, but uh sometimes it, it becomes like this huge smear campaign which you're you're familiar with but uh that's something that you need to quarantine like ahead of time you know kind of try to try to try to get on the good side of people you know if you if you were to i always say like the law of re reciprocity give gifts give compliments you know just just to uh quarantine some of this you know some of the randoms who will say something you know a lot of times you, if you think that they're not going to have anything directly to do with your life it's like oh well, I'll just go by them like it's you know no big deal and I'm never going to talk to them anyway so why why do they even matter but they matter for this particular reason it's like random people can do like can say like I said they can they can do damage you know and uh it's just a way to make it where it's just harder to, to spread rumors. You know, if you start working on your, your, uh, your reputation, it's like the same thing as a, a drug dealer would do. Like if you've seen the movie Amer American gangster where you got Frank Lucas, which they used to do this in real life. They would go out during the, the winter season around Thanksgiving and randomly start passing out turkeys they're passing out turkeys to, to everybody for free. And uh, it made it where it was harder to, to, to bring him down because now he has the, the people behind him, you know, and it's something that simple. That's not a lot of money for him. They, they would say he even said that some days he could make a million dollars a day, you know, so that's petty, petty change for, for him. And, and for you, you could just be giving out just little things, you know, buy drinks for, for everybody. Um, you know, just throw them in the fridge, buy, buy water for everybody once in a while or something like that. Bring breakfast, bring in donuts or something, something small that'll get it where things don't just travel as fast. People aren't just saying stuff, negative stuff about you for no reason. Especially if you're doing this ahead of time. If you do this ahead of time, it makes it where people don't even want to come at you as much. Like, some people like a challenge, you know what I'm saying? So they still will come at you, but they'll they'll more likely go after somebody who's not doing this, who is kind of on the outside, the outskirts of, of everyone else, and they're not even, like, doing anything. They're just doing their job. Really, they shouldn't have to do anything, but 
they'll more likely attack them than attack you if you're in the same position but you're you're working on it you know you're working on your reputation so people don't spread lies and rumors about you and it it travels around so easily um but yeah in in the movie american gangster he's like um i took care of harlem so harlem's gonna take care of me <laughs> he said that at the end of the movie where the the cop was trying to to lock him up he was like you know how are you gonna get somebody like hey, i got everybody on my side you know um and that's the reason why he lasted so long he lasted even longer than what what you would think he would last because if, if you really think about it his supply got cut off before he he got locked up i believe you know they they stopped like the vietnam war stopped so he, he couldn't get the the drugs over here from vietnam anymore so he was working on that so his his reign was pretty much over by the time the cops even got him you know so uh I mean, they still had stuff going on, uh, as I can remember, because they were, they they were. I remember them kicking in the door to like some of his uh, his manufacturing uh, spots and things like that. But he was pretty much on his way out, you know. So, I, I'm my thing is is that you can learn anything from anybody. So some people might be like, "Wow, well, 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 I don't know why I said it like that," but. <laughs> Uh, why would I try to take anything from a drug dealer, especially one who ended up in prison, right? But you can learn anything from anybody, you know, so you take that as a lesson. And uh, that's all I got. That's that's pretty much the game for the day. And uh, just just leave a